The legendary terrorist mastermind Osama bin Laden is attributed the quote, When people see a strong horse and a weak horse, by nature they will favour the strong horse. In this he referred to a timeless truth, that absent a higher moral authority, strength and power stand above in a world of struggle and torment, as the means of physical transcendence and metaphysical liberation from the base and paralysing mortal fears. That strength, vigour and energy represent beauty and truth, for the mane and muscle of the beast in motion excite and fascinate, and with this energy anything is possible. Through the ages man has sought to tame and employ the strength of the strong horse, just as his civilization tamed and managed his own nature. The beast of burden became the universal feature of the ordered and successful society. And in every one of these societies, a culture grew around the noble beast that venerated, romanticized and elevated their attributes, and joined with them, just as the rider joined with the animal itself, to represent man and nature, strength, power and order, in one divine function. But exploitation and cruelty followed in the wake of civilization's flow. The beast of burden was kept in its place by all of the measures of man, including the whip, bond and scourge. In nature's order man stands above, whether he observes a moral order or not. Our burden in this age is our weakness. Abandoned and traduced by a materialist elite class, we are reduced to the status of moral and physical reprobates, for our strength in mind and spirit is no longer required. Even yoked to the plough it has no value. But each man is the strength and sinew of the nation, manifest and transmitted through action, and in that action is the daily devotion to the prize of nationhood. Seeing, knowing and identifying the strong horse is the first step to liberation from the bonds of the godless materialist machine. Man was not made to be broken. Man in God's image will prevail.